is Makiki Roti Blood Sugar Friendly? This is part 5 of a series to test the effect of different flours on my blood sugar and find the best options for PCOS and insulin resistance. Today, I'm having two rotis made from 40 grams of Makiki Atta to test its impact on my glucose levels. I'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor, so let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar rose by 79 NG per DL and took around 2 hours to normalize. With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per DL and return to baseline within 2.5 to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was much higher than my ideal target range. In comparison to my previous tests, the spike was somewhat lower than whole wheat rotis, but roughly in the same range as bajra, jawar and ragi. So why did this happen? Makki kata or maize flour is also relatively high in carbs and has a moderate to high glycemic index. It also lacks the fibre and protein needed to blunt the glucose spike, especially when eaten alone on its own. In my next and final video of this series, I'll be testing jaw or barley flour to see how it compares to the other flours. Let me know what you think in the comments below.